on webheads welcome back to day 21 of spider pops 25 days of christmas season three today we are doing the miss spider pops 2022 collection tour i am very stoked to be able to show you everything that i've collected so we're gonna go ahead and get right through it so make sure you guys stick around to the end Alrighty, so we're gonna just get right into it and we are going to start with our Jurassic Park Dino Funko Pops. I am really stoked when I found out they came out with a giant blue. Definitely one of my favorites. Just had to get the other 10 inches to go with her. But also the Hot Topic exclusive blue and beta Funko Pop. Over here we have my Carnage, Mandalorian, and Grogu Lego sets. You probably saw in a older video of me and Mr. Spider Pops doing the Carnage and Venom was one of the Lego sets that made me want to add more to my collection and get back into building Lego sets. Um, and then in that video, you guys can see a little bit of me building Grogu. Um, Mr. Spider Pops took so long on his Venom that I just got bored and was like, you know what? I'm just going to work on Grogu. Over here in this tight corner, we have my Lego Pokemon ball. Um, a cool feature to this is it lights up. Um, definitely one of my favorites because it has that cool feature. And over here we have a mini Hedwig Lego set. Over here we have my Zero Gingerbread plushy from Hot Topic. As you guys saw from a previous video, definitely was a huge fan of it when I found out it came out. Over here we have my BD1 Lego set as you also guys saw from a previous video. Um, definitely one of my favorites. I've been wanting it for a while when I found out it was in stores. Didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Then next to him we have my Lego set RTD2. And over here we have my ginormous Pikachu Funko Pop. Next to the Pikachu we have the Groot Lego set. And next to him we have my number one favorite Lego set. It is a Hedwig with his letter going to Harry. We have the Golden Snitch. Do not like chocolate frogs. Next to him, we have my bonsai tree. We also have a flocked Hedwig Funko Pop just chilling in there. We have my succulents. Over here, as you guys saw, we have the Pokemon trading cards, the Eevee Revolutions. Over here, we have Pichu. And over here, we have Raichu. Definitely, I would say, one of the easier ones to build out of all of these. And down here, we have all of my tiny Pokemon Legos. So I'm pretty stoked to have all of those. And also we have the Anima for Christmas Clue. That was a early Christmas gift to me. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And if we go underneath my desk, we have... All of my ginormous Funko Pops. We have all of my ginormous Funko Pops and a little bit of 
random stuff. This part is very sad in the movie. Um, definitely not one of my favorite scenes. We have Carl and Ellie. This is also another sad scene from a Disney movie. Um, I personally don't like this scene either, but I thought it was cool to have it as a Funko Pop. So thank you to Mr. Spider Pops for letting me have this from his collection. Next to that one, we have another Gremlins. It's Gizmo in the red car. Also, thank you to Mr. Spider Pops for giving me this one. He had this one in his collection and I personally grew up on the Gremlins and I fell in absolute love with it. Now, over here, we have our bearded dragon, Mr. Curtis. He has been in the family for quite some time now. Um, this is his first little introduction. Don't tell Mr. Spider Pops I told you this, but Mr. Spider Pops, you'll feel scared of him. He's very shy to new people. Over here, we have just my ginormous Grogu that Mr. Spider Pops also gave me from his collection. And below him, we have the Pumpkin King Jack and Harley Quinn soda figures. And right here, we have my Pride, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and Robin Funko Pops. And up here on my desk, we have Doctor Strange and Wanda. Next to them, we have my Jurassic Park Mystery Silver Metallic Eevee. And then we have my Gwen figure that says Boo in the back. Definitely one of my favorites and only Spider Gwen figure, but hoping to get more in the future. Over here we have Pikachu Funko Pop, Wanda, and then we have the Jack Skellington Snowman with Wanda and two Groots. We have Queen of Hearts, and she is definitely my favorite from... Alice in the Wonderland. Next to her, we have Cinderella. Over here in this corner, we have Flocked Squirrel Pool. And then we have my Nima for Christmas Jack and Sally Pocket Pots. We have my Flocked Pichu. But we also have, before I forget, we have my Flocked Appa. Thanks to Mr. Spider Pops for also letting me have this one in my collection. He had this one in his collection, but let me have it. Um, but above them we have Meowth, Leafeon, Sylveon, Mew, Horsey, Charizard, and Belle. We have Normal Belle, The Beast, Lady Tremaine, and Gwenum.
And then on the top, we have more of my Pokemons and the Nightmare Before Christmas and my Groot comic cover in silk. And with that being said, that is going to end the Miss Spider Pops collection tour. Can't wait to see where the collection grows from here. But we're gonna go ahead and get back to the table and wrap up this video. Alrighty, and there we have it, this Miss Spider Pops 2022 collection tour. I am pretty stoked to have a huge collection like this. Before I met Mr. Spider Pops, I didn't have barely anything. I would say I had maybe four Funko Pops tops and I very much mistreated them very badly because at the time I did not know how to really collect them. Just really stoked that I have more and I'm actually taking care of them and not ruining the box but I am just wicked excited to have Legos again and all these cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Miss Spider Pops collection toy as much as I did. But that being said, that's gonna do it for that's gonna do it for day 21 on the Spider Pops channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, make sure you guys are staying safe out there, frosty, and having fun. Of course, have an amazing rest of your day, webheads. Bye bye. <laughs>